the Plant Food Federation channel. If you are new here, I am Athion. Now in this video, I'm going to show you how to make what I'm calling a palm oil curry. Now in Nigeria where I'm based, there's something called a palm oil stew, but I'm going to add a little bit of twist to it and also make it plant-based and vegan so that it's a little different than the traditional palm oil stew that you would find. That said, palm oil is an essential ingredient in this recipe as well as in the traditional palm oil stew. Now there's a lot of concern around palm oil and the consumption of palm oil and I just want to address that quickly. Now in West Africa, palm oil is indigenous to this region. It is an essential ingredient in West African cuisine in countries across the region in a number of dishes. It has been used for centuries both as an oil and as an ingredient, um, as a sort of an aromatic inside different dishes because it has its own flavor that it brings to the food that is cooked with it. Palm oil was used by my ancestors and we continue to use palm oil in this region. It is normally sustainably farmed because it is farmed in rural areas and most times it is wild harvested. The other thing about palm oil in West Africa is that we use every part of the palm tree. Okay, We use the palm fronds to make brooms, we use the palm nut, um, the cream from the palm nut to cook soups, we use palm oil also from the palm nut to cook soups. And then what you will find that is controversial is palm kernel oil, which is basically the seed inside the palm fruit um, that also has an oil in it as well. So there are two types of oil that come out of the palm fruit. Now in this video, I'm going to show you how to make this palm oil stew, um, palm oil curry, which is a version or an offtake of palm oil stew and it's plant-based and it's vegan and I hope that you will enjoy it. I'm going to pair this dish with yam, the West African puna yam, which is in season and is really flavorful right now and it's also another essential ingredient in West Africa. Now, this dish is really simple. You can have it on your table in a matter of minutes. And it's a bit cooler right now in the Northern Hemisphere and also down here by the equator, it's hammer time. So we're finding that the evenings are a lot cooler as those winds are blowing down from the Sahara. If you haven't done so already, go ahead and look below this window. You'll see the subscribe button. Go ahead and tap that subscribe button. Let's stay connected. Also hit that notification bell as well. That way, every time a new video goes up on this channel, you will get a notification. So with that said, let's step into the kitchen so I can show you how to make this really simple, really quick palm oil curry. Let's go. Here are all the ingredients for this recipe. I will leave the link to the recipe in the description box below. But a couple of things I want to call out here and it is definitely the palm oil, which again, we've talked about. We've got some habanero peppers for some heat, some coconut milk and some vegetable stock. Now, I really enjoy cooking with palm oil. It has its own unique flavor that it brings to every dish. First, I'm going to prep the bell pepper. Now, I'm going to be putting this in a food processor, so I'm really just going to rough chop it. I am going to reserve a piece which I'm going to slice thinly or julienne, and I'll be using that as garnish at the end. So next I'm just going to julienne this last piece of red bell pepper and I'm going to set this aside and use it for garnish. So let's go ahead and tackle the onion. Same with the red bell pepper. I'm going to cut this into large cubes because again I'm going to put it in a food processor. And I'm also going to chop the other half of it which I'll be using to cook the base of the curry. I've added the pepper and the onion to a mini processor. I'm adding in a few cloves of garlic and I'm going to blend this into a paste. Let's get started putting this together. So I'm gonna go ahead and heat the palm oil in a pan on medium heat. And once it's hot, I'm gonna go ahead and add in those chopped onions that we had chopped up before. And I'm gonna give those a good stir until they become sort of translucent. I'm then adding in tomato paste and the blended pepper and onion. 
I'm adding in some smoked paprika. I love smoked paprika. Also a bit of salt as well and some cumin. And then I've got some coconut nectar. So I'm just gonna pour this in. It's a little bit of sweetness to cut the acidity of the peppers. So I'm going to go ahead and give everything a good stir. Add in that coconut milk. Just mix that through and let everything cook for a few minutes. Next up, I'm going to pour in the vegetable stock. Now this curry is so easy to make. Now I love to chop my peppers, but this time I'm just gonna throw them in. That way they can break down into the curry and I can remove them if the heat is a little bit too much. I'm then adding a bit of lime juice, some chopped basil, and I'm gonna stir those through. And I'm adding the basil at the end of the cooking process because I don't want the herbs to overcook. Curry is done, so let's go ahead and plate this dish. I've got a couple of slices of yam here. I made them look fancy because I cut them with a mold. So I'm just gonna go ahead and place these in my bowl and I'm going to spoon in that curry. Now this is a really simple dish. It's really filling and it's really easy to make. To garnish, I'm adding some chopped spring onions and those slices of bell pepper that I had set aside earlier. And that basically finishes off this palm oil curry served with West African punayam. This is a really simple dish to make. It is flavorful, it is filling. I really do hope that you give this one a try. Again, I will leave the recipe for this dish in the description box down below. If you like this video, remember to hit that subscribe button and tap that notification bell. Also give me a thumbs up. And if there are other recipes you would like to see me try on this channel, definitely let me know in the comments below as well. And like I always say, regardless of what your eating philosophy may be, eating more plant-based foods is always a good thing to do. I'll catch you in the next video. Bye. Bye.